What's up guys, it's Josh here. All the Halloween films, there's been 11 films released so far due to this whole pandemic trash thing. We were supposed to get a Halloween film this year, so this should have been in the top 12. I actually created um, a second channel based on kind of like movies, so this video should be going on that channel, but I think I'm going to post this on my main channel. This is 100% my list, and I understand a lot of people are going to disagree. Uh, I try to make this as fair as possible and based on like what I actually liked. Some of these films really respect Michael Myers, and then some of these films actually are, are a lot more entertaining, but at the same time, they kind of disrespect Michael Myers. There was only three films in this series that I really did not like to watch. Besides that, they were all pretty solid. Very few of these films really wowed me and thought, wow, that was the perfect film. That was the best film. All these films are kind of like in the middle above average. They're not supposed to be the best films ever, but they are very nice for what they are. All right, guys, starting off with number 11. Now, I understand a lot of people disagree with me, but it's my list. Number 11 was Halloween 6. Now, I actually just watched Halloween 6 was talking to my friend on the phone and he was watching it at his house and I was watching it at my house. This movie was just probably the most boring movie that just does not hit at all for me. Um, I actually really do like Paul Rudd a lot but in this movie it was almost like they asked Paul Rudd to just act really 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 weird the whole time. For me I could see why Paul Rudd's career didn't blow up till maybe 10 years later because this movie to me was just a complete miss. It feels like the beginning part of the 90s where they kind of didn't have any good direction. Something like H2O really turned it around and really just revamped this whole series for me there's so much stuff that i didn't like it doesn't really feel like a halloween film it feels like the the characters are older i don't like the, how they kill jamie i don't like the whole michael gets with jamie but jamie's his niece I, I don't know that whole story it was just a little weird and on top of that it seemed like michael was kind of like a super soldier being controlled by somebody else versus michael being the main crazy person here so i just had to put halloween 6 number 11 for me probably the most boring out of all these ones for me personally number 10 is rob zombie 1 now rob zombie 1 i had seen little bits of it when it first came out i watched a youtube video that put together the first rob zombie and the second rob zombie about a year ago so actually to rewatch the full number one and the full number two i really didn't like either one of these guys to be honest that yeah, rob zombie 1 it was it was really just kind of long and drawn out and i don't know just just 100% not for me. There was little bits of stuff that I liked, but overall I just couldn't wait for this movie to be over. And I'm somebody who can appreciate Rob Zombie at some times, and I just really wasn't feeling it here. Number nine, Rob Zombie 2. I actually wanted this movie to be better than it was. I kind of like the different take they look on it. Um, it's not as crazy Rob Zombie as the first one, although it does have the same kind of stuff. You have people just yelling one cuss word over and over and over and over again, and it's just like, well, it's not very creative. I did like the different take on they did on everything. It was just, they tried to do something way different with it, so I appreciate that, but again, I just could not wait for this one to be over. It just did not hit for me. Number eight is Halloween Resurrection. Now, I had read basically what happens in Resurrection for a long time, so by the time that I actually got into it i wasn't as let down by the things that people didn't like i actually found resurrection surprisingly entertaining yes it really disrespects michael i totally get that but there was a lot of little things that i enjoyed about resurrection seems like it's going to go a laurie strode way for like 10 minutes 20 minutes and then it kind of just goes somewhere else you don't really know exactly where it's going to go you think it's going to go laurie strode then it doesn't i actually really liked the uh, haunted house style things when everyone had the cameras on their heads you know a lot of people live stream now everyone's live streaming on their phone so this actually helps the film in my opinion not seem that dated because everybody's live streaming and people are watching the live streams on the tv that's kind of something that's more done nowadays versus back then so i actually really like it they really pixelated the the video quality to make it seem realistic like you're actually watching their video and they did pixelate it pretty bad to make it realistic for the time but overall i thought this movie was generally pretty entertaining it has those two big things of michael myers getting disrespected and then laurie strode the whole beginning scene i understand people don't like that but besides that i found this movie pretty entertaining and i think by the end michael does come back very strong so number eight halloween resurrection number seven the season of the witch now i watched the season of the witch almost a year ago and then i rewatched it now it's a pretty solid entry. It's okay. I wouldn't say it's the best, but I wouldn't say it's the worst. It definitely has some good redeeming qualities. It definitely feels like they're trying to 
make a different movie, but also make it very powerful and unique in its own kind of movie. We're putting the mask on and watching the TV, the bugs. It was just stuff I hadn't seen before. There was honestly some pretty brutal kills in here too. It was just a very solid movie, but it just doesn't have that timeless feel like something like Michael does. For some reason, Michael's so aggressive that even when you watch the 1978, it still feels really aggressive and new versus kind of everything felt a little dated in Season of the Witch, but it was okay for me. A very solid number seven. Number six, Halloween 2018. Now this one is one that I watched a year ago. It just didn't really sit with me as something overly rememberable overly memorable i really liked the beginning i liked her laurie strode's little secret place that she's got but they kind of like showed you the secret place that she has to hide from michael and then she just goes right to it i almost wish they kind of elaborated on that or took it further it seemed like the gimmick was oh she's got this thing in her house to hide from michael but it doesn't really work and i also personally i prefer laurie strode when she acts regular and not when she acts when she's like insane and nobody trusts her i don't really like that side of laurie strode personally that's what they had in halloween 2018 i thought it was very solid but for me very few things were memorable but that's just me number five is halloween 4. now halloween 4 was another movie that i ended up i talked to my friend i was like hey guy hey man this is supposed to be one of the best ones people say this is the best michael myers let's watch it it was this movie was kind of so so to me i really enjoyed the beginning I really enjoyed Michael coming back. I really enjoyed Loomis. I felt like the whole beginning escape thing was very, very good. But once it gets past that, it literally, it's like a step for step of the original film. It was just kind of like, wow, like you did all this kind of build up for him to do the exact, it was just kind of like the same story. It was like, wow, like I really feel like they had done a little bit more with it. Again, granted, they do have a pretty decent ending but for me, that ending doesn't really get me over how boring and how predictable everything was because this is essentially like a retread of the original minus the um, escape scene. I think Michael's mask in here is okay. Um, other times it, it's looked a lot worse. This movie was just very, very solid. It respects Michael. This was probably one of the more respectful renditions we've had of Michael. So. I do appreciate that. I do, it feels really classic. It felt actually surprisingly dated. I was surprised to see this came out, I think in 1988. So several years after, it still feels really dated, but it's super solid. I see why people like it. It is a classic Halloween 4. So I know this is kind of like sacrilege, but I another reviewer put it this way, and I have to agree with them too for me personally. Number four, Halloween 5. Now, Halloween 5, I understand. People were saying this is like when the Halloween series started to go down. There is a few slight goofy parts in this one. I don't really like how Jamie's a mute. I don't really like Michael's mask. But besides that, for some reason, this movie feels much more new versus Halloween 4. And even though that this movie came out one year later, it just really feels like way less dated, way more new. And I also felt like the story was totally not on the same path as number four and number one. It was very kind of like, I didn't really know who's going to be where and where Michael's going to be and how Michael's going to get him. People are kind of moving around all the time. It's not like, oh, they're in one house, they're in a neighborhood, they're just waiting for him. It was kind of like very different. It felt very kind of like new age. For some reason, this movie feels several years more advanced than Halloween 4, which is weird because it came out one year later, so you'd think it'd be rushed and, and not as good. And I know people, some people don't like that one annoying character. I didn't really find her that annoying, to be honest, personally. I just thought this was a generally very entertaining movie, and I would say the entertainment barely puts it over number four, and on top of that, having a little bit of a different story and like kind of like a newer feel. The ending was kind of like so-so on this one, but it was okay. Number four, Halloween 5. All right, guys, number three. This is a movie that really surprised me. I thought this was gonna be pretty high up, but nowhere near as high as it was, and this is Halloween 2. Now, for some reason, I thought that I had seen Halloween 2 on the TV a bunch of times, like a while ago. So I'm like, okay, this is kind of going to be like a retread of it. It turns out that I actually didn't remember almost anything about this movie. And to me, I was surprised basically how brutal this movie is. If you go on to IMDb, there's only three Halloween movies that are labeled just horror. Not thriller, not, not mystery, not sci-fi. Only horror and this is one of them, Halloween 2. This movie really is pretty brutal. Like um, some of the scenes, and like if I were to describe how people die in this movie, it's pretty graphic, 
it's pretty insane i know there's like needles in the eye i know there's like they put like a like iv in somebody's arm and just let it bleed out um you know michael takes that girl's face into a hot tub and just burns her face off it's really kind of brutal and i was like wow like i've been watching all these halloweens and i almost had to put my guard up to be like this is really trying to disturb me whereas i didn't really feel that in the other ones and this one really shows just how vicious and aggressive michael is and it kind of see, I see why in the future when somebody like Busta Rhymes gets in his face and he doesn't do anything based on Halloween 2 and how aggressive he is. Um, I'm just, I was just really surprised by it. Yes, it has a, some some downsides to it. Um, Laurie Strode being out of it is, is kind of not that good, but I just really enjoyed how, how similar it felt to the first one, obviously. And then just how brutal, I was so caught off guard how brutal these kills are. I would say this is probably for sure in the top five most brutal kills in all the movies. So number three, I was so surprised, Halloween 2. Number two, this is probably the most entertaining one that I had. I actually watched this movie a year ago, and I think I watched a few more clips afterwards, but I haven't watched it since. But this one was definitely one of my favorites. I know a lot of people don't agree with me, but Halloween H2O. Now, I really like this one. It brought back Laurie Strode. It's way better than the 1995 one. It feels way more new. I see people not really liking the California setting, although I live in California and I lived on the beach and the coast when this movie came out. So I have like a little bit of a sentimental value for it there. I do agree that it's not the most haunting. It's not the most classic, but compared to something like Jason Goes to Manhattan from the Friday the 13th, this one is, is really nice. I wouldn't want him to stay in LA, but it kind of gives it a different feel. It makes it seem like, okay, why would Laurie Strode go back to this town? Why would she, you know, she, she seems like she's destined for these bigger things. She's normal. I like when Laurie Strode is normal. She's kind of progressing her life. Things seem like they're going pretty good. Really what puts this movie in number two for me, a lot of people have said this too, is the ending, the ending. When uh, I was so surprised when uh, Laurie Strode sends her kids away and right when the kids go away, it's just like, wow, she goes full crazy mode. And that's what you wanted to see. It's like, how many times have you seen this Michael guy and this person knows how dangerous Michael is, but they just don't do anything about it. It's like, wow, she totally understands how dangerous he is, like what kind of mental state she has to be in to take him down. Absolutely loved it. And I will say, of course, Resurrection messed up the ending to this one, but this has absolutely one of the best and most definitive endings ever. And so I technically, you could say that it didn't happen because of Resurrection or whatever, but the whole ending of this, loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. I understand this doesn't respect Michael as much, but I found the entertainment factor to be through the roof. Absolutely love H2O. And then number one, the original Halloween. Now, this one to me, there were some things I didn't like about it. Um, it's kind of the original slasher. So it's the like super stereotype, really not much is gonna happen that you don't already know. Um, I just remember that I watched all the Friday the 13th and then last year I watched the first Halloween and I thought the first Halloween was probably a more complete film than any of the Friday the 13th. It kind of hurt me to say that because I do like Jason and I like those movies, but it's just a great film. They didn't introduce the brother-sister line with Laurie Strode yet. That was good. It was just the right amount of mystery. There wasn't very much described about him. You didn't really know that much about him. And in the later films, they try to describe him and pin him down more and it just doesn't really fit. This is the classic you know just enough, and if you knew any more, it might ru ruin the lure of how he is. Like I said, this definitely wasn't the most entertaining. This isn't one that I would go back to and watch probably the most. There are certain ones that were more entertaining to me. I gotta say, for, for having everything, for having Michael, Laurie Strode, um, just all the whole thing, Dr. Loomis, though, the way that it's, it's done in the first one, it's just hard not to put this one as number one, I gotta agree. And the main reason I wanna put this number one is because when I first watched it, like I said, I thought, I thought it was better than all the Friday the 13th movies. And I was like, wow, you know, and all these movies, they have, they always mess up something, whether it's the mask, whether it's disrespecting them, whether it's predictable, they always, there's always something off. This is the closest to being perfect and everybody seems to agree with me. But anyways, guys, let me know what your favorite Halloween movies are. Uh, how would you rank this? What's your top five? What are some of your favorites? To me, again, this isn't somebody who's watched Halloween his whole life. I do like rec I do like respecting Michael Myers, 
but I don't haven't been like that person like I've watched it since the beginning like he needs to be respected or else I hate the movie to me I'm watching it more it's just kind of like a fun Halloween style movie so this was my list let me know what your list is down below we're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and I couldn't do without any of you guys help you guys are the best I'm having a great day out here hopefully I'm having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace